Stars, I'm Claire. And I'm Caleb. We are your ABU TV anchors. Today is Tuesday, October 7th, and it is an A1 day for special areas. Hey Claire, have you heard that Amy Beverlin has its own first and second grade basketball league? Yes, I played in that league. How do you sign up? Make sure your parents look for information coming to home in backpacks. There will be evaluations at the end of October, and teams will be put together soon after. Sounds like a fun thing to do when it's too cold to play outside. It is. First and second graders, ask your parents to sign you up. I'm getting excited about the roller skating party tomorrow night. Me too. It's from 6.30 to 8.30 at the roller cave. It only costs $5. Emma Cannon and Manny Padron are celebrating their birthdays today. On Tuesday of fall break, Bri Brea Benjamin and Alice Goff will have their big days. Please come to the office after announcements to get your birthday pencil. Today's lunch entrees will be pizza or ravioli with garlic toast. The sides will be corn, a spinach side salad, and assorted fruits and juices. We've got an awesome joke from Izzy in Mrs. Wood's class. How does Lady Gaga like her steak? I don't know. How? Ra, ra, ra. <coughs> oh, that's funny. We're getting lots of jokes for the show. Be sure to write neatly and put your name and your teacher's name on it. We have pledge leaders from Mrs. Thee's third grade class joining us today. Over to you, pledge leaders. Hi, I'm Daniel. Hi, I'm Vanessa. Hi, I'm Micah. Hi, my name is Cal. Hi, my name is Andrea. Hi, my name is Nathan. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Today is James Whitcomb Riley's birthday. He was born on October 7, 1849 in Greenfield, Indiana. His poems include Little Orphan Annie and the Raggedy Man. The famous Riley Hospital is named after him. He died on July 22, 1916. 35,000 people came to his funeral. Wow, he must have been important. Stay tuned after our show for a reading of Little Orphan Annie. It's a great poem for a spooky month like October. Well, that's all for today. Thanks for watching ABE TV. You can also see our show on YouTube. Just click the ABE TV link on the Amy Beverlyn homepage. This is Caleb. And this is Claire saying please take a moment of silence and have a terrific Tuesday. Little orphan Annie's come to our house to stay and wash the cups and saucers up and brush the crumbs away and shoo the chickens off the porch and dust the hearth and sweep and make the fire and bake the bread and earn her board and keep and all us other children when the supper things is done we sit around the kitchen fire and has the mostest fun a listening to the witch tales that annie tells about and the goblins that get you if you don't watch out once they was a little boy wouldn't say his prayers, so when he went to bed at night away upstairs, his mammy heard him holler, and his daddy heard him bawl, and when they turned the kiver down, he wasn't there at all, and they seeked him in the rafter room and cubby hole and press, and seeked him up the chimney flue and everywhere, I guess, but all they ever found was this his pants and roundabout. And the goblins'll get you if you don't watch out. And one time a little girl would always laugh and grin and make fun of everyone and all her blood and kin. And once when they was company and old folks was there, she mocked em and shocked em and said she didn't care. And this as she kicked her heels and turned to run and hide, they was two great big black things a standin' by her side, and they snatched her through the ceiling, for she knowed what she's about, and the goblins'll get you if you don't watch out. And little orphan Annie says, when the blaze is blue, 
and the lampwick sputters, and the wind goes woo, and you hear the crickets quit, and the moon is gray, and the lightning bugs in dew is all squenched away, you better mind your parents, and your teachers fond and dear, and cherish them at loves you, and dry the orphan's tear, and hep the poor and needy ones that clusters all about, or the goblins will get you, if you don't watch out. End of Little Orphan Annie